Hey YouTubers, welcome back to Murray Wednesday. And today's MRE is a breakfast, army breakfast, with uh, French cereal biscuits, because I have to use them up, and some jam from the supermarket. We get these as uh, little pots of jam. Straw, I think it's what, strawberry, yep, strawberry jam. Uh, so we've got Natural Museum with Milk, is one of my personal favorites. I've got two packets of these to get through. Got cranberry cereal bar I had before, very nice. The smell of cranberry just overwhelming, it's awesome. Uh, a cup of tea, tofu tea, army ration tofu tea, and beyond the beaten track, dairy creamer, non dairy creamer, even, and a hospital now for wiping up anything, hands, etc. etc. or after, because uh, these do really do work being a hospital standard. But uh, that is today's MRE. I was going to do the other one, but uh, I suddenly realised it would be better with the extra content in it. So I don't have that right now, so I'm going to get that from the supermarket, and then next week so I'll put it into the video, because that will be pretty good, I reckon. Um, but that's it for today. That is today's breakfast review. Not done one of these in ages, and I've got all this stuff to use up, so I might well just get over and done with and use it up. Right then, so let's get it on the tray. Right then, so it's all laid out on the tray. Uh, so we'll start with a cup of tea first, uh, even though I just literally had a coffee and I had breakfast tea, so I had my breakfast already, but uh, I just could not be bothered to get up and do this. <laughs> I just thought I'd do it after, even though I just had breakfast about two hours ago. But never mind. So we'll... Um, Alright, so we'll start with this first actually, because uh, of course this needs um, water, so we'll uh, do that first I think. What I can open is another story, because I found these packets um, really tough. You know, you end up sort of either cutting it with a pair of scissors or getting a knife on it. Whether I can do it today, I don't know, probably not. <sighs> oh, yeah, did it today. <laughs> Blimey. It ripped under, it ripped under, but they are very, very tough, these packets. But instant porridge is even worse. <laughs> but there you go, it's your bulk standard British Army breakfast with uh, lots of oats and uh, I think poppy seed and uh, sorry, pumpkin seeds, I think, or something like that. Yeah, smells beautiful. Love sticking my nose in these, especially the apple and cinnamon one. That, that's pretty good. Got loads of rolled oats there. Right, okay. Right then. Oh, let's do that first. My canteen with the World War II cap. It's over 70 years old, that cap. I'm sorry, I've attached a chain yet. <laughs> I haven't got around to it yet. It goes onto that uh, thingy there. But um, let's do this first. I think that looks good to me. I'll just squeeze the packet up, make sure all the water gets in there. Yeah, that'll be uh, perfectly okay. Absolutely bang on. Right, set that over there for a few minutes. Uh, put that over there. Get a cup of tea on the go. It's a tear here. Oh, these packets are also quite tough to cut. Oh, there you go, got it. It worked this time. Can't be a nice cup of tofu in the morning. Although I've just had my breakfast and my coffee. What am I doing? <laughs> Concentration. Now let's get the kettle. Roll it up to the halfway marker. Back to that. It's either sounds like shotguns going off there, or it's um, that banger. What 
we uh, call bird scarers to scare the birds off. They're pretty bad this time of year. So I see a shop farmer shooting, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> Pheasants or something, like not sure. What's the farmer's banger going off? Right, okay, it's a cranberry cereal bar, which I've had before, which is very nice. It smells of cranberries, beautiful. Yeah, it smells just as good as I had it last time. Lots of, uh, I think, uh, cranberries there and some oats, I think, or nuts or something. Yeah, there's definitely nuts rolled in there. Yeah, definitely. These are very nice. Ideal start to the breakfast, so we'll have that first. Mmm. Mmm. I do have a cookies and cream cereal bar. I could have used that one, but uh, I'm going to use it in my next video. There'll be another breakfast coming up as well, but with a different menu this time. Mmm. 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 These are divine. But not as good as the cookies and cream one, but it's absolute heaven. Because that's like, in my view, like the first strike bar. It's that sort of uh, thing. I'm actually giving my postman a RFO cookies and cream bar. I had two of them, so I'm actually giving one to him as a Christmas present, along with a £5 note in his uh, Christmas card. He does um, deliveries for me here. He even puts in the shed round the back sometimes. He's a great postie. I told him what I do. I'm not like, I even tried to brainwash him into getting, getting him into rations. <laughs> but it didn't work. He said, oh, I'm too busy for that, he says. So he's obviously got a busy home life and stuff. But uh, I'm going to give him a cookie and cream cereal bar as a treat for Christmas. Along with a fiver. Why not? He deserves it. Mmm. Mm, we got heaven. Nice and soft, a little bit sweet, but it's nice, it's a nice sweet, not overpowering. But it's very, 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 very moist. You can taste all the contents as well, the nuts and whatever they are, oats or whatever. Cranberry, definitely, but it's so soft. Perfect, that is, for starting for breakfast. Absolutely perfect. Mmm. Oh, my heaven. Um, natural music with milk. Um, best fall date was uh, 31st of 12th, 2019. So it's good till uh, Christ um, New Year's Eve next year. <laughs> wow. Awesome. They do keep a long time. Store cool and dry, as I always do. Add approximately 100 milliliters of water to sachet contents, mix well and allow to stand for approximately one minute. So you don't have to wait this long, you can have that after like one minute of waiting. But um, I just have to give it a little, a little, just a little bit longer. Right, okay, so one more month that cereal bar. Mm. I'll put that back in a pack and I'll have that for breakfast tomorrow. Be perfect. Right, okay then. I suddenly realise uh, I don't have my spork. <laughs> I have to go and get my spork. Right, okay, I'll go and get that now, actually. Right, okay. Still stained from the bean pasta salad, or whatever salad I had last. Still stained. Right then, okay. Swirl around. Squeeze up against the side. And... Done job. Nice flexible spoon there. Unlike the uh, MRE spoons, they just snap. Right, okay. Be on the beat track, Prima. Love these big packets. Oh, just slightly over there. Let's give it a little bit of a mix. Yeah, sounds like shotguns to me. Farmer shooting pheasants or grouse or something like that. 
Right, okie dokie, put that over there. That'll keep nice and hot. Let's have some breakfast again. <laughs> Even though I just had breakfast two hours ago. Right, so um, there we go, we've got uh, muesli there. There we go, pour that out. I would, if I was outside, I'd just you know eat that out of the packet here, obviously. Don't need a bowl for that. Got a perfectly good pouch. But this has to be one of the best breakfasts ever made. Every single one of the army breakfasts are absolutely perfect. You know, but it's just saying you can't get them in the supermarket like that. I would have this every every day for breakfast. It's that good. As I said many times before. <laughs> Okie dokie. Right, set them. That's it. Pack it empty. Oh, I love this stuff. It's awesome. Alright, so one last munch in a cereal bar before we go any further. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, God, it's awesome. Absolutely awesome. Mmm, mmm, perfection. Mm. Oh, beautiful. Mmm, mmm, mmm. What a great cereal bar that is. Overpowering taste of cranberries in your mouth. Just for absolutely amazing. Oh, wow. Never ceases to amaze me that bar. But I'll uh, put that back in the packet and we'll have that for breakfast tomorrow. Right, on with uh, natural mu deer milk. I've had this many times before and I absolutely adore it. <sighs> Yummy. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Wow. I always love the taste of this. You know, got to be one of the best breakfasts I've ever had, as I've said every time. Always um, pumpkin seeds and whatever else, maybe nuts in there. I can't remember, I should know, but I don't. <laughs> Forgotten. But you just can't beat an army breakfast in the morning. Give you that energy. Just a taste of it. You know, just nothing like anything on the supermarket shelves. You know, got some unique taste. Beautiful. Oh, I absolutely love it. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, that's nuts. Well, it's some nuts. In my view, it could have done with more nuts in these packs. Just a little bit. Just a little bit more nuts. Just to help. Quite a lot in there, but I think it needs a little bit more. Mmm, wow. Mmm. Mmm. With the poppy seeds as well. Has a nice little bit of crunch. Mmm. Along with the nuts. Oh, wow. Glad I've got one of these. I mean, get these on eBay. It's like, I think it's like six ninety nine for a pack of three or something. Oh, but I'm not concentrating. <laughs> oh, man. Concentration, Paul. Oh, damn. But yeah, like I said, you can get these on eBay for anywhere between packs of three, packs of four, and packs of ten or nine. But of course, the more you more packs there are, the more you pay. But we're lucky here in England to be able to buy these. I mean, America, they, they don't do what we do on eBay. You know? There's like boxes. You don't get like a single um, breakfast um, uh, contents, you know. If that was me, I would um, make like a breakfast and sell it on eBay. 
Mm. Hang on a minute. Mm. Right, okay. Oh, yeah, if I, if, if I have my way, I'll make a little breakfast, breakfast collection because that is not on eBay and just put it on there and sell it. Like a muesli, some tea, some creamer, um, some biscuits if I can find them, a cereal bar of some description. Just sell it as a breakfast uh, ration. I, mean, I might actually do that, yeah, I don't know. To see how it goes. <laughs> so that's a good idea, I think. Make it your own breakfast rush and sell it on eBay. Mmm. Wow. I love this. Especially pumpkin seeds. I like biting on them. Very nice. Right, okay. I'll finish this up and we'll be back. Well, that was amazing. As per usual. Never ceases to amaze me. You just can't beat those army rolled out breakfast, music breakfasts. You know, wow. I mean, if it's a fruitful one or the apple and cinnamon, it makes no difference. Just the taste of that is mind blowing. You know, that just, it's always put me in a good mood. I haven't done anything today. <laughs> it's just a good morale boost. Right. Okay. Um, before I do that, I just want to show you these. All right. These came in a post from Holland today. Um, these are the proper, I hope, <laughs> labels for the uh, World War II rations I have. You have, I think you have to, I mean, I, I do already have the pouches. Let's go through these one at a time, shall we? You've got the bouillon powder one there. I think they stick on. I think you just peel them off, stick on. Uh, I'm not sure how many you can make out of that. Probably two, four, maybe, possibly four. But these are, I think, as far as I know, the proper labels. Because um, I have a, in my bedroom, I have the uh, a relic from the Arden Forest, um, which is a coffee packet. And I'll show you when we get to it, which is over 70 years old. So that was actually their soldiers actually doing that, you know, making a coffee out there in the forest. And that's the orange powder juice synthetic. As you know, I have... Uh, MRE orange juice I have used. I'll put that into the pouch. Uh, Nescafe, uh, yeah, soluble coffee product. This is the one I have in my bedroom from the Arden Forest. I have what's left of ones, about three or three, three or four pieces left. So that's that one, Nescafe. And these are the Mylar pouches. What you put around the um, thingy. Of course, all, all the instructions, which I've already done, I just need to um, cover the uh, Mylar pouches with the stickers to make my um, World War II ration, which I'm still working on. You know, I've still got a little bit more to do on that yet. It's uh, quite complex, but uh, I'm working through it. And hopefully, sometime next year, you'll get to see uh, like a, a K ration proper, <laughs> proper K ration review. But anyway, um, let's get all these cereal biscuits. I don't think they're broken. Ah, yeah. And this, I think to me, is the second best smell of the day. Let's just have one of these. Hold on, I'll keep, keep the other one. French ration biscuits, from which came from my menu one RCIR. Yeah, that smell just hits you right in the, right in the um, nose. Oh, it's never ceased to amaze me. Oh, I could sniff that all day, I tell you, it's awesome. Right, and we have some strawberry jam from a supermarket. I do have a, um... What the hell is that going over? I'm just going to go have a look. Well, it sounded to me like an RAF tanker. Or a KC-135 or something like that. Um, but yeah, this is a strawberry jam that I've got from the supermarket. Very cheap. Don't cost that much. And this would be an excellent breakfast. But let's have some uh, Thai food tea. Is that locked on? Yeah. Let's have some Thai food tea, but you should be nice and hot still. Yeah, I was right. Oh, God, I love that. Freaking love that. Okay. Let's get some of this jam. Some, uh, just don't want that much. Don't want that much. 
just a little bit just a little bit of jam there's some supermarket uh, strawberry jam and this uh, french ration biscuit which i've had loads of times so it's just absolute divine goes very well with a coffee or tea makes, makes no difference but it's much better had with a hot drink instead of a cold drink i found i would just love these you know it has to almost a shame i have to open the packet <laughs> Mmm, God, I love that crunch. Oh, awesome. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Absolute heaven. As per usual. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Of course, knock it down with a cup of tea or coffee. Mmm. Mm. Yeah, perfection. What more can I say? That's a perfection. No, because if, if, if you ever do these guys, don't leave these in a packet too long. Please consume them within a couple of days or so. so they start to go soft. So don't leave it uh, too long, you know, just enjoy it. You've opened it, enjoy it. Mmm. <sighs> I think these are much better than toast. Mmm. Wow. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm. That strawberry jam, very sweet as well. Lightly sweet. Along with cereal bar. I'm sorry, the, um... Oh, sorry, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the cereal biscuit, even. A French cereal biscuit, that's also lightly sweet, too. But perfect combination together. Mmm. Absolute perfection. But that jam is so sweet, you don't need too much of it. Literally just a little bit is all you need. It's just very, very nice. Mmm. Oh, wow. Absolutely mind-blowing. What another great breakfast I've had again today for the second time. <laughs> I'm looking forward to next week's ration, I can assure you. Mmm. And my crystal present, which is over there, which you guys can't see. I'm looking at it from here, I can see it. Um, that will be after Christmas Day. That's my Christmas present to myself, so it'll go under the tree. Um, I'm very excited. <laughs> so I can't wait. Can't wait for that, I'll tell you. It is a ration pack. I'll not tell you where it's from. Because um, of my damaged eye, it's not going to make any difference how much I eat out of that or not. Same as the biscuit, same thing. And the breakfast, it makes no difference because my eye is damaged. So there's not much they can do really, other than give me more laser treatment to fix it or an operation or whatever. So I'm just going to take advantage of that. Mm. Oh, wow. So, you know, it doesn't make any difference at the moment because I've got hospital tomorrow, of course. The eye department, I'm looking forward to that. Not. Now I'm trying to know what the hell's going on. If anything can be done. Look at that. Over 70 years, and the cork is still there. That um, canteen bowl. Well, I find a um, proper. I think there's a date in there, but I can't quite make it out. Something. Oh. I dropped it. <laughs> Butter fingers. There is a date there. I'm going to uh, check that out. I want to see what date it is. Mmm. Oh, wow. Right. That was a great little breakfast. Highly recommended. If you can find um, some strawberry... Oh, if you have an Andros strawberry j uh, Andros jam that you don't want, use it for this biscuit. If you have any French ration biscuits, over, of course. If not, get some biscuits brown. Or some other type of biscuits you have at home or whatever. Put some jam, be it whichever company. And you enjoy it. Because in this box down here, I do have a Andros jam left over. Which I'm saving. Alright, I want a nice sugar tea. Mm. Oh, I love those canteens. They're too hot for ages. Right, okay then. I'll finish it off after the video. 
Right, so the um, natural muesli with milk, absolute heaven. 10 out of 10 for that, as per usual. Cranberry cereal bar, same thing, 10 out of 10. French ration biscuits, absolutely heaven, faultless, 10 out of 10. Same with the jam from the supermarket, very nice little pot of jam there, but don't have too much of that. Just uh, enough to cover your biscuits or whatever. Very, very nice. Um, Thai food tea with the dairy creamer, uh, non dairy creamer, is heaven. Mm. Oh, that's that finished. Right. Right, that's it then, boys and girls. Thanks for watching. Appreciate that. Have a great day or whatever. And um, I'll see you next Wednesday, uh, other than doing wagon reviews, obviously. I'll see you next Wednesday for the MRE, um, which I'm looking forward to. It's going to be awesome. Can't wait. I've never had it before, so it's going to be great. Right, so go and don't forget to go and subscribe to the blogger. Go and subscribe to that guy's channel. I'm watching his videos all the time. He's awesome. I still have a few to catch up on yet. I will get there. It's, um, I find it hard to keep up with everybody. That's the problem. I'm struggling. It normally takes you up to sort of a week to catch up with people now. Ridiculous. Uh, but we all make videos, don't we? We all do it for the public and other people and stuff. So, whatever. All good. So, cheers for watching, guys. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for comments. Thanks for everything else. And basically everything, basically. And I'll see you next Wednesday. Bye for now. Enjoy yourselves. And take care.